We're really excited to be here in Zeni, Ohio today to learn about the Little Miami Railroad and how it got started. It was started in Cincinnati, of course, Cincinnati being one of the bigger cities in the, uh, in the uh, state of Ohio. And uh, it was formed up uh, along the Ohio River, it was the depot down there. And it built uh, up the Little Miami River. Uh, the first major uh, stop was at Milford, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And it was the depot there was right along the, uh, the Little Miami, and you could look out of the depot and see the river. Uh, it then came on up into Xenia and uh, reached Xenia. Uh, 1845 was the uh, uh, first traffic up into Xenia. And then uh, they completed the Little Miami up to Springfield, Ohio, the following year, uh, 1846. And that particular piece of track went right through downtown Xenia. Now they, they hauled passengers first and they picked up freight and uh, the railroads really took business away from the canals. They had, had the new canal going into Cincinnati, but canal boat traffic was very slow. The railroad was much faster. Uh, canal speed was the speed of a horse or a mule. Uh, railroad speed was maybe 30 miles an hour, give or take a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, you uh, could ship bulk goods on a railroad. You could ship large amounts of goods on a railroad, whereas canal, you were more limited to how much you could ship. Right. And uh, early on, I'm told that uh, rather than shipping corn, they converted it to whiskey. And whiskey was shipped down to Cincinnati on originally river boats, ra rafts really, mm -hmm. and a little later on a canal. And, but uh, railroads came along and you could ship whole corn down to Cincinnati and uh, go down the Ohio River to the Mississippi. and um, raw materials could come back the opposite way, up the Mississippi, up the Ohio River. They proved to be more efficient. Oh yes, much more efficient, yeah. Less mm -hmm. costly, yeah. So how important was it to the development of the area? It was very important because the population grew from the 1840 census, the population grew probably almost triple in the 1850 census, federal census. Was it mainly uh, for freight or industry, or was it passenger rail as well? It was also passenger rail. Yeah, I think the, the thinking initially when they built a railroad was they haul passengers. And of course the freight went along with that, and that's where the money was made was in the freight. But uh, initially why you hauled people. And by the 1860s you were able to haul um, soldiers from Camp Denison and Camp Chase and go down to the south where they were needed. Tell me how the Little Miami Railroad came to Columbus. The Little Miami came to Xenia in 1846, and another company was formed, became the Columbus and Xenia. Of course, there was some talk of it going all the way to Cleveland, but it never did go that way. Um, by 1850, the Columbus and Xenia had been completed. The terminus was at Xenia. By 1860, the Little Miami and Columbus and Xenia had merged probably because they were going over the same area and they wanted to make that link to Columbus to have even more of an economic impact. One of the reasons that uh, the Columbus line went to Xenia was that the Little Miami merged with another railroad, connected with another railroad in Springfield that went on up to Lake Erie. So he, that was the first cross state railroad from Cincinnati up to Lake Erie. So anything that uh, Columbus could ship down to Xenia, they could then ship either to Lake Erie or down to the Ohio River and then down to the Mississippi. So it gave them a good outlet for products from Columbus to, to get them out to the rest of the United States. Or they weren't United States in those days, but sure. I mean, it, the states that we did have. There were a number of railroads that they all came together. Each time the railroads would come to a common town and they'd merge their tracks so that they could interchange cars and then uh, they would then transfer freight and it got to be easier financially or paperwork wise you know to be one railroad rather than several railroads and so they, they grew that way and uh, even today you know the bigger is better. Did the Little Miami Railroad keep that name or did they just keep expanding names or come under the name of another railroad? Well, I, they probably ran out of room on the side of the car, L, M, N, C, and X, and D, X, and P, or whatever, <laughs> they probably ran out. So they did, they did eventually merge into another, another firm. So some of it was by leasing, some of it was uh, physically or outright buying the railroad. It was more leasing and sharing initially, 
and uh, uh, the individual railroads would keep their names. So then later on, as they actually merged, uh, they would reach a new name. Two railroads would combine, and they'd uh, get a new name. And this, as I said, it got bigger and bigger and bigger. They would change their names on a somewhat regular basis as they as they grew. And uh, the what became the Pennsylvania Railroad uh, initially was a bunch of other little lines. And as they grew and grew together, they uh, they eventually uh, ended up being the Pennsylvania Railroad, which came in from the eastern United States. And they continued to go through Columbus. Between Xenia and the eastern United States was Columbus. So you know that was a way for the east-west traffic to move. Now, we have a collection of photographs and books here. What are we looking at? This is a photo of a painting that we have, and it shows the old depot, the old lower depot. And this is where the soldiers boarded the trains in the 1860s at this lower depot. This building was torn down in 1955. And the picture over here is the upper depot with the dinky beside it. And that one was built specifically for the Little Miami Railroad. And that it, you had to stop there before you came downtown or went down to this lower depot. This was on Detroit yeah, Street. Yeah. It was torn down in 1941. And this is a photo just across the line into Warren County of the Little Miami Railroad, and it's clearly marked here, Little Miami Railroad, on the engine. And this is just at Foster's Crossing, which is just, like I said, south. This is another picture of the depot the lower depot, it says view of station house at Xenia. And this actual locomotive, no, the coal car, or the wood car actually, it's not coal, says LM and CX Railroad. So Little Miami and Columbus and Xenia Railroad, they had merged. This is the depot as I remember it when we moved here in 1951. It looked a lot like that. But it didn't have the steam car. Oh, of course not, no. <laughs> they still had steam locomotives, but they didn't look like that. This has got the big wide funnel of the steam coming yeah. out. And the humongous cow catcher, because they actually did catch cows and horses. It was still a pretty <laughs> rural area. Oh, yes, yes. And then the map over here is Little Miami Railroad to the Hand of Man. 1840 to 1870. Of course, it was still in its planning stages in 1840, but still. And then the far side is Little Miami, Columbus, and Xenia, and Hillsboro and Cincinnati railroads. And it's a timetable, 1853. This is a Columbus and Xenia Railroad Company quarterly dividend from 1925. And this Edward Worthington, he got $170.50 to get paid for his dividend by holding stock in the Columbus and Xenia Railroad. So in 1925, they're still paying dividend checks, even though they'd been gone for some time. Now, when was the final year of operation for the Little Miami Railroad? Through, through downtown Xenia was 1967. Well, it wasn't the Little it Miami was, it was by the that It was the Pennsylvania time. Railroad at that point, but it, but it was the original trackage and roadbed. What remnants are there of the railroad here in Xenia? Well, all of the rail lines and rail beds have been turned into uh, multi-use paved trails, the Rails to Trails movement. The only active rail in Greene County is at Fairborn. Thank you for telling me about the history of the Little Miami Railroad and its connection to Columbus and joining us on Columbus Neighborhoods. Thank You're you for, quite welcome. Thank you for coming.